Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing Sonic Adventure 2. Last time we uh, played with Robotnik, so today we're going to be playing with Robotnik. Robotnik has a lot to do in the early stage of the game, and I feel like that makes a weird kind of sense. Like, you know, like we're at the start of the story, we got to have the antagonist kind of... Whoops! <laughs> Jammin'! We gotta have the antagonist kind of like set up what the rest of the game is gonna be, right? Like, it makes it makes sense to me. But, uh, we don't got anything to do with the story, though. This is part of the story where Robonic just kind of wanders around, making sure he gets a hundred coins. There's all these robots doing nothing on the tarmac, but hey, you know what? It's okay. Yeah, I don't get rated on money, so maybe we'll just blow these up and see if there's a... Uh, there's money inside? Like, I... Yeah, see, we don't care about score right now. All we want to do is get rich, get it quick. There used to be a power up there, by the way. I don't know, I'm shooting things here. Whoa, I can get up here. This thing flew at me. Alright, well, it didn't flow at me this time, so I don't know what that was about. Yeah, like, I gotta be careful about not getting hurt. I mean, I guess I can just take the hurt and continue the level and get more coins, but that just seems wrong. Like, it just doesn't seem like in spirit of Robotnik trying to get his money. Dot com. Okay, so I need to stop that. Uh, oh, jeez. See, like, guys just kind of appear out of nowhere. Like, hey, check it out. I got this sweet laser. I don't know really what to do with it. Can I? Okay, well, all right. Here there's a bunch of money suddenly. There wasn't any for a while. And then Robochow is there. He's like, hey, check it out. My name is Robochow. I don't know what up with that. I don't know the color of a rainbows. There's like chocolate. There's strawberries. There's vanilla. And I don't know the other colors at all. Please him send help. All right. There's like these weird little like desk zones here. Is there going to be money here of course there will at the desk zone uh, go inside the warehouse and wobble about in the desk zone I saw the sweet spring here I don't know what that means but like why why are you here what do you do spring all right you spring me over there that's pretty wild and wacky that's for sure and uh, you got any money I would like to share some. Oh, oh, wow! And I just walked into that thing. My life is a crumbled. Dude! All right, back here. Don't step into a spiky ball if you can help it. I would like it a lot if you didn't do that. Like, you don't even need to go where the spiky ball there is. Well, maybe there- no, I, like, I don't remember seeing rings there or anything. Yeah, just hang out on the side here. Look at that, there are the last rings I need to complete this mission all this time. There's this right there, right at the end- I died at the end. Hey, we gotta be. Here's a cake, he says. Uh, you know what, I'll take it. Um... I remember seeing the pedestal for the Chow mission, like, while playing it. It's like in a hangar at some point. So, uh, see you there, I guess. <laughs> what was about fight Chow? He's in the military boat somehow. That silly guy. Is that weird installation on the side there? Like, I wonder if that's relevant. Whoa. Weird, awkward balloons. Yeah, there's a weird insulation there, but... Spring and rings. Weird. Pretty sure it's not there, though. I, I believe that it's in one of these. Like, it was in a... Hanger... Like, on the left. So I believe it's gonna be like... There's that thing... Yeah, see, right there. And we get a sweet portal that leads us into the negative universe. Or right here. Yeah, oh, wow. There's not even an extra challenge. It's just, there's a pedestal somewhere that leads you to a weird place. 
Pafwow, I guess. I don't look, we didn't really have any ideas, so this is it. We left this one for last. We figured we'd figure it out eventually. But uh we didn't. <laughs> what a disappointing thing. Well, let's speed run, I guess. <laughs> like, what can I say? Oh boy, wow, that is very little time. That's probably the least amount of time I had yet. Uh, in terms of just like raw amount of time given, well, let's see how this goes. This is going pretty something. Yeah, they remove the midpoints. So here, I yeah, you just kind of keep going. With that like that took less long than waiting for the explosions to go. So it's like I think you still like you still get a uh, score based uh, rank though in speed mode. So, like here, like, can I just, like, go above you here? No! You see, you think that would work, but um, I don't understand the game still, sometimes. Alright, that's all y'all, I destroyed this expensive plane. Just did it. Oh, wait, destroy the block, just destroy the block! I did it. Video games. Yeah, like, normally, the, like, I can just jump over these, which say, does save me a lot of time. But not when I'm on the other, the other side of, I don't know, that stupid guy. He just, all the time, man, he just takes me by surprise. Takes me by the hand. You know what? Just aim for him! Aim for the robot! I guess you won't. Aim for the robot! Aim for the robot! Shut up, I'm a chow! Well, I mean... So there, I was not being very efficient, so it's very possible that if I don't make it, like, it is because of there. Uh, I'll accept that as my future, like, if that's the case. Like, yeah, like, I'm supposed to be aiming at these fools, but I just kind of want to go forward. I just want to go. I just have to go. Oh boy, a balloon, watch out there. Don't scare me, okay? These I can just skip. That guy, I almost want to shoot this so I can walk across. Get shot at. Here we go. Destroy the world and everything inside. If you want to, don't feel like you have to. It's just preferable. Alright, destroy that thing. Yeah, okay, made it here. Here we go. Yeah, I got less one than a minute. Uh, but we are close to the end. Uh, yeah, the Chow mission brought us right to the end, basically. Well, I just got hit there. I had a lot of, uh, ring stored. Meaningless. A meaningless gesture in a meaningless world. Yeah, you did that. You just, you sure did ambush me there. Just bought me. Big bopper. Can I just, like, go around this? I sure can. But now I can't see anything. Losing any time that I might have. I think the ending is right there. So once again, first try that I actually beat the level, uh, but things got pretty ugly at the end there. Just got bopped a whole lot, enemies just jumping in, wanting to say hi. A very positive neighborhood, was too close. but it does lead to problems down here. And yeah, like, I was not trying to shoot things down. I was trying to go fast. And, uh, obviously, like, it's so easy to, like, destroy things and get combos in this level. I'm not surprised that by basically not trying to really shoot down anything, I didn't get very high. Like, the score's probably pretty high up there.